What is going on everyone? Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your Chrono Send for your PlayStation 5 if you guys are using your controllers, all right? So the first step you want to do is go ahead and update your Chrono Send and download scripts, all right? So to go ahead and do that, you're going to simply type in on your Chrome browser, Chrono Send download, right? Literally type this exact thing in. Once you've done that, this link is going to pop up. You're going to go ahead and right click on this, open, hit download over here once this is opened up. And then all we're going to have to do is download the Zen Studio. So right now, the latest build is 82. So simply go ahead and right click on this. Once you guys do, you guys can see it's just going to go up into your downloads tab, right? Once it is indeed up into our downloads tab, all I like to do is simply open up my file explorer from the bottom over here with the file icon. Once it's open up, go ahead and click on downloads. And you guys can see our Zen Studios right here, right? Again, you guys can see I already had it downloaded before, but I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything, all right? So once you see it in your downloads, okay, all I like to do is right click, drag and drop into the desktop, all right? Once that is done, all we're going to do is click on the Zen Studios, okay? Once it opens up like this, you're going to hit next, I agree, and go ahead and hit install, all right? Once it's done, go ahead and hit finish. And the first step is updating our Chronos Zen. So again, this whole time, don't have the Zen plugged in. And you're going to look for this application that just went ahead and downloaded called Zen Studios, all right? Once you see it, right click on it and open it up, all right? And again, this whole time, make sure your Zen's not plugged into your PC or anything like that. Just hold it up just like I'm doing right now. All right. Once you see it here, you're going to hit open update tool. All right. And now you're going to go ahead and first plug in the Zen. Anytime you guys are updating the Zen, it's going to be plugged in at the top up here. So if it's facing you, it's going to be plugged in here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my wire. Let me go ahead and grab my wire right over here. So you guys can see I got the long wire here. The USB-C end is again going to go at the top of the Zen. The other end of this cable is into my PC, all right? It's in a USB 3.0 port. Make sure that port is blue, right? USB 3.0, so it's in there. Again, just go ahead and plug this end in, add to the top, just like you guys see mine, right? Once the Zen gets power and it just says Zen on here, you want to flip it over, and on the back, there's a little blue button, right? You guys can see the little blue button. You're going to have to hold that down for three to four seconds until on this end screen, it says Zen bootloader, okay? So I'm going to hold down that little blue button and show you guys what it should look like. All right. So I'm going to hold it down, hold it for three to five seconds. You can see it's changed here. It says Zen bootloader. If I go back to my desktop, I've already connected it before and updated. So I'm going to hit disconnect. But for you first time, you're going to hit connect. Once it does go over here to the left hand side, you'll see your paired device. OK. And again, make sure it says Zen bootloader. All right. Right click, press connect and simply go and hit the latest 2.214 update, all right? Once it's done updating, I'll show you guys how to download a free script so you guys can test it out right now, all right? So once it's downloading, I will leave this free scripts download tab in the description below and in the pinned comments. Check the pinned comments. You guys will be able to see this free scripts here on our Podia, all right? So once you went ahead and hit view product or tell you to sign up here, all you have to do is once you've signed up, let me go ahead and make this more. You guys are going to be able to log into your Podia page. Once you are, just right click on your name and click on the products tab. All right. Once you guys are in here again, this is our paid script. So if you guys want to go ahead and test the better versions of all these scripts, so you guys can do that. But first thing, click on the free scripts. OK, I highly recommend everyone try out the rabbit version one here. All right. So once you see it here, just simply go ahead and right click on it. And all it's going to do is just go up into your downloads tab. You guys can see my downloads rabbit version ones over there. Perfect, right? Now, if I go back to the Collective Minds tool, the updating is done. And now I can just go ahead and unplug the Zen from the top, all right? Now, next thing you're going to have to do is simply go ahead and open up the Zen Studios again. So once you're back here, again, you can see nothing's plugged into the Zen. Hit Cancel over here. And anytime you guys are adding scripts onto the Zen, all you have to do is plug the Zen in only on the right-hand side, just like this, okay? So you guys can see mine. All you're going to do is only plug it in on this right hand side. You guys see that? So you're going to plug it in there. That's what it should look like. Open to your desktop over here. Open up the Zen Studios one more time. And we're going to add the rabbit version one script. All right. So do that. You're going to go to compiler. Go ahead and press file. Up here you can see open. You're going to go into your downloads. You should see the rabbit version one press right on that. Go ahead and press open. You'll see it in here. Next you just want to go over to programmers tab. Wait for this thing to flash and get done. Again, I had a bunch of stuff saved. So I'm going to delete the one I already had saved on there. But for you guys, you're going to press the six little lines here. You can see on the left-hand side, 
it says GPC scripts <laughs> and then you'll see the rabbit version one right up here to the top. Once you see it, right click, drag drop and you'll see a pitch black box, right? That's a good sign. That means you got the script on there and then go ahead and simply press the play button to program AKA save the script, All right? Next, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to set up our controllers. And first, I'm going to start with my PS5 controller, right? So let me go ahead and grab that as the script saves. You can see the script has indeed saved, all right? Now, to turn on the script, all you have to do is press the right side big blue button, okay? That's how simple it is, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is while we're still inside the Zen Studios only, I'm going to go ahead and go to the device tab, okay? And make sure where it says Outpro Protocol here, if you're going to be using a PS5 controller like I'm about to do, make sure you have this set to PlayStation 5, all right? Now, if you're going to be using the Xbox controller, you can either set it to PC mobile and or auto, all right? So for right now, PlayStation 5. And now while it's still connected on the right-hand side, you're going to grab another cable and go ahead and plug the Zen in at the top also. So you guys can see the right hand still stays. Now you just also give the Zen power from the top as well. Okay, once that is done, now you're going to go ahead and plug your controller either on this right hand side here or the left hand side when you guys are looking at it, this, this USB port and or you guys can use the bottom one right here. So you can use this one and or this one or they have that one. But again, I like to use this one here and or that one. All right. So here's what that's going to look like. I'm going to grab my controller. Let me go ahead and wire it up so you guys can see it. Everything live. So there we go. The USB-C end into my PS5 controller. Bang. The normal USB end, like I mentioned. Personally, I like to go just straight where this blue button is right here. So I'll show you guys that. So you guys can see, I just like to go right here. So there we go. This is how I like to plug it in first. All right. Now you want to make sure as soon as you plug it in, make sure there is this green light here. That means your controller is getting power. If you plug it in on the bottom, there'll be a green light right over here as well. All right. If you don't see the green light, you're going to have to change out this cable. It's not giving enough power, all right? So once that is done, you guys can see right here in my device tab, there is no joy pad found and or a console, right? That's a bad sign, all right? So you can see my controller. I can't use it, right? I turn it on. Nothing is happening. So what you have to do next is simply pick up your Cronus then. And you guys remember that little blue button on the back that we talked about at the start right over here? You're going to quick press this one time again. Do not hold it this time or it's going to give you that Zen bootloader air again. All right. So you're going to quick press it just one time. OK, so I'll show you guys what it looks like in real time. So you guys can see our Zen Studios in the device tab. You quick press it just one time. It's going to basically reset the Zen and look where it says joypad. It should class out like it crashes out the Zen Studios. That's fine. OK, if it does that. Just open up the Zen Studios one more time. That's a good sign. That means it probably should work now. And if you go back to the device tab, we can see our joypad is found. Same with our console, right? And now if I pick up my PS5 controller and simply go ahead and just press the PS button, you guys can see now it is indeed going to be good to go. And another way you guys can check if your controller is working is if you go up here into the tools tab, there is this thing called device monitor, right? Once you guys go ahead and just simply bring that up, if you go ahead and just use your controller, it should show up here. So anytime you press a button, it should show up in blue, right? You guys can see I'm holding my triggers and that's a quick way to test if your controller is indeed working. All right. So once that's done, next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and unplug the PS5 controller and show you guys how to do it with the Xbox. All right. So I'm going to unplug it. And whenever you guys are playing now, you can just unplug the cable from the right side. OK, you only need the controller and the top once everything is plugged in and working. Right. So now you just it's still with the PS5 controller. This is all you guys need plugged in. Right. You guys can see that's all you need. You don't need the right hand side cable once you get it working in our Zen Studios like we did. All right. So next we're going to set up the Xbox controller. So I'm going to unplug this one. OK, and same step. Make sure you plug it in on the right hand side also right here. So make sure both are plugged in. Okay. Open up our Zen studios and we're going to go ahead and plug in my elite series two controller next guys. All right. So I'm going to grab that thing right over here. Elite series two. Okay. Same process. Plug it in on this side. And then all I have to do is simply go ahead, go over to the device tab. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. All right. So you can see the wired controller. Again, like I mentioned, guys, I like to just always go on this side 
with my controllers that's what i enjoy you guys can plug it in whatever you see fit and there we go next again you want to wait for this green light to turn on right we can see mine's not turning on right now most likely because in my look at my outro protocol right either set it to auto and or i just like to do pc slash mobile okay once you've done that i'm going to go ahead and turn on my controller let's see if it connects doesn't look like it's going to connect oh it did connect but still you can see the green light is not on here right so that's not a good sign so what i'm probably going to do is go ahead and hit that reset button one more time so flip over the zen quick press this little blue button one time let's see if it resets itself we can see it changed to xbox 360 right let me go ahead and there we go right we can see the green light now the controller connects and everything's good right and again you always want to make sure you check before you unplug stuff go to the device monitor and check your controller works right when it, everything's plugged in like this you just want to hit buttons on your controller make sure everything's good right we can see mine's good and then now simply when you're playing just unplug this right hand side cable all right that's how easy it is to set up your chronos send for your ps5 hope you guys enjoyed catch you on the next